one about the distance formula. So how to find the distance between the two points which is given in the plane? Suppose this is your x-axis and y-axis is two mutually perpendicular axis we draw. Here, O L 
equals to x1 then om equals to x2 om equals to x2 then we will find what is the ln how we can find ln see we are total distance is om from this to m distance is from x2 we will subtract it x1 then you will get only the ln distance ok so when we have to find ln ln equals to this ln equals to om minus ol om minus ol so what is the om om total is x2 minus x1 so ln equals to what x2 minus x1 so this is x2 minus x1 if this is x2 minus x1 of course this is x2 minus x1 ok so hence we can write here what an equals to x2 minus x1 why because this two opposite sides are equal this ln equals to an ok now we will see this side bn how we can take the bn huh? yes sorry so here this bn bn is total distance b and total distance is what here y2 total distance is what y2 so from this total distance is of y2 if you subtract this distance by 1 then you can get that bn that will be distance ok so here we have to find the bn so bn equals to bn equals to total bn minus nm bn minus nm so what is the bn bn is y2 minus y1 so bn equals to y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 understood now what we have to actually find the distance between the a and b1 so for that purpose we will join this a b we will join this a b now we have to find the distance between a to b ok now see here this 90 degree means this is 90 degree angle is here because a n is a perpendicular to b a correct now this here if you see the carefully this is form for right angle triangle which angle is right angle triangle which angle a and b a and b is here in this plane that e a and b is the right angle triangle ok so we can use this property of course Pythagoras property so in this triangle in triangle a and b angle a and b equals to 90 degree so by Pythagoras theorem Pythagoras theorem what a b square equals to a n square plus b n square a b square equals to a n square plus b n square what is the value of this what is the a n square a n a n is the x2 minus x1 correct so here x2 minus x1 bracket square plus what is the b n b n is y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 bracket square ok now this we have to find a b not a b square so what we can take here we can take the squares on both sides so here a b square square of this what a b and what is the squares of both these two are uh, here this x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square and this is called for distance formula when we have to find the distance between point A and B ok so once again what we will see that here what is the distance how to find the distance between A B a distance between A B or distance between any two points is equal to what x under root side x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square so in this way we will find 
the distance between any two points. The points may be here, one point here, maybe one point here, maybe one point this on this fourth quadrant, maybe one. These two points are in the fourth quadrant. Okay, so a, any quadrant, any two points are there. We can find the what distance between that two points. Okay. In the next period, we will see the examples of this distance formula. Hello students. Now in this session, we have to see the examples of the distance formula. So we will see the first example. Find the distance between the point A and B. So A having the coordinates are seven, thirteen, and B ten, nine. We have to find the distance between A. Between this A and B are in the Cartesian plane. These two points are in the Cartesian plane. So to simplify. To solve, find the distance between these two points, we have to take this a seven thirty. These are the coordinates of point A and B. What? Yes, take nine. Correct. Now here we can take x one. This x and y value. This x and y values are there. So this x one equals to seven, and here y one equals to thirty. And here. X two equals to ten and Y two equals to nine. Okay. Now what is the distance formula? So distance formula we have to find the distance between A and B. So A B equals to under the root sign. What? X two minus X one bracket square plus Y two minus Y one bracket square. Okay. So what is the X two? We will just put the values X two. X two is ten. Ten minus what is X one? X one is seven here. Okay, so ten minus seven that is here. Plus what is Y two? Nine minus Y one is what? Thirty. Okay, so bracket square. Next, ten minus seven equals to three. Correct. So three bracket square plus here nine minus thirty is it possible? So answer will be negative. Negative. So 30 minus 9, 4. Give the negative sign. So minus 4. Bracket square. Next, here three square is what? 9 plus every negative number having the square is always positive. So 4 square is what? 16 minus 4 square is 16. So you will get here 16 plus 9, 25. So what is the square of 25? Five. So you will get a b equals to five units. So this is the distance between this two point a and b. Okay. Understood. Now similarly, we will see the next one example. Find the distance. Find the distance of the point p six minus six from the origin. So everyone knows that what are the coordinates of the origin? Coordinates of the origin. Yes, correct. The coordinates of the origin are zero and So near this origin, zero, zero. Means this x axis x o, x dash and y o, y dash are mutually perpendicular axis. That means the second point o. So origin is here. Now in this example, point P six and minus six is positive and negative. So here all values of x points are positive and y points are negative. So in this quadrant, this point is nice. We are in the fourth quadrant. So suppose to be this point is in here. Which point is your point P? So P P point having the coordinate and six and minus six. Okay. So we have to find the distance between these two points O P. Okay. So we can take this O P from that. O is the origin. Zero zero are the coordinates. This x one y one and this three having the coordinates are six and minus six that are x two. Y two. So we will write first the origin. Origin O having the coordinates zero, zero, and another point P is already given that P having the coordinates six minus six. So here x one equals to zero, y two equals to also zero, x two equals to six, and y two equals to minus six. Okay. Now for the we will use the distance formula to find the distance between OP. So OP equals to OP means what? Distance between point 
P and from here to the origin. Okay. So here under the root sign x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square. Okay. So here x2 minus x1. What is x2? X2 is 6 minus what is 0 bracket square plus y2 minus 6 minus 0 equal bracket square. Now actually you will see from the origin if you have to find the distance between any points means the other point is given anywhere and we have to find that distance between that point from the origin. Then we can simplify that formula. See how here you will get 6 minus 0 means what? 6 only. So 6 is what? x2. And here y2 minus y1 means that 0 means minus 6 is what? y2 means we can take this. This also x1 minus 1, this x2 y2 or we can take this x1 minus 1, this x2 y2 it is same only. So here directly we can form the formula for the if we have to find the distance of any point from the origin that distance equals to what x2 or x1 bracket square plus y1 bracket square ok so or we can see that x2 bracket square plus y2 bracket square that can depend upon u which one you have taken that x1 y1 and x2 y1 because this 0 0 you will 0 if you will minus from both these then you will get the same number ok so here under the root sign what is remaining? 6 square because 6 minus 0, 6 only plus minus 6 minus 0 only minus 6 only so bracket square ok so here 6 square is 36 and minus 6 square is also 36 so you will get how much? 36 plus 36 72 ok now 72 We will do here the next step. OP equals to 72 under the root sign 72. So 72 how? What are the factors of 72? 36 to the okay, how to find the factors such like that if possible one of the number should be perfect square number. So here 36. 2's are 72. Okay. So what is the square root of 36? 6. Correct. And what is the square root of 2? That it means 2 is not a perfect square of any number. So we can write under the root sign. So OP equals to the distance between the point P from the origin. That OP equals to 6 root 2 unit. Understood everyone? Okay.
Okay, by distance formula. What is the distance formula? We have to write first distance formula. A D equals to under the root sign x2 minus x1 bracket square. Yes, next what? Correct. Y2 minus y1 bracket square. Okay. Now see here. Here you need. Here the distance between this is the distance. A B distance is already given. What? Ten minutes. So we will write the value of this. This A B distance is already given. What it is? Ten minutes. So ten equals to. Now we put the values of what is the x two? X two equals to what? Eleven. So eleven minus what is the x one? X one is what? Three. Correct. X one three. So eleven minus three. Bracket square. Plus, what is y2? Y2 is what? Y only yours, okay? So y minus what is y1? Y1 is your minus one. So here already your sign is here minus, and your y1 is already minus one. So we have to write minus of minus one bracket square. Understood? Here y2 is your y minus sign is. In by the formula and y1 value is here negative. So here minus of we have to write the negative values of y1. So minus y1 and bracket square. Okay. Now here 11 minus 3 a bracket square plus what here y minus a b negative number having the square is what positive. So First, we have to simplify because this is the bracket here. So y and this minus minus will come plus. That more having the square. Okay. So minus minus plus one bracket square. Correct here. Ten. Right. Now see here. X square is what under the root sign. X square. Sixty-four and here y plus one bracket square that we have to by using the identity a plus b bracket square identity. Okay, but here variable is there that we have to find the variable value. So first we have to take means we have to make the squaring on both sides. So if we make the squaring on both sides, this square side will what will be? So we have to make the squaring on both sides. Squaring on both sides. So squaring on both sides. When you will do here, you will get ten square. Correct. So ten square equals. And here what happened? This square of sign will be removed from there. So you will get only a eight square plus y plus one bracket square. Right. Now ten square is what? Hundred equals to eight square is what? 64 plus we will use here the identity a plus b bracket square identity. So what is the a plus b bracket square identity? A plus b square bracket square identity says that a square plus b square plus 2ab. Okay. So according to that, what will be the a square? A square will be two square y square. So y square plus b square. B square is what? One square. So what will be the one square? One square. One only will be there, and plus two a b two into a into b. So two into y, two y into one, two y. Okay, so here two y will be there, right? Now we will use this. We will shift this side. Sixty four. So hundred. Here becomes hundred minus sixty four, and we have only remaining y square. Plus one plus two y, right? And here hundred minus sixty four. How many remaining? Ten minus four, six. Give here back ten minus seven, three. And my here again you will give back and here here will become zero. So equals to y square plus one plus two y, right? Now if you will transfer Okay. 
Now here y square plus 1 plus 2y and this 36 will be transferred to this side where you will get minus 36 equals to 14 remaining this side 0. Correct? So y square plus 2y minus 36 plus 1. Correct. How many? Minus 35 equals to 0. Now here what happens here we will use. See this quadratic equation is from y square plus 2y minus 35. Means we will use here the straight in middle term. So we have to find the, the factors of 35. Of course. What are the factors of 35? 7 pi's are 35. Factors of 35 are the 7 pi's are 35. And in this 7 pi's are 35 we have to want the middle term. So what is the middle term? Plus 2. So we have to split that 35 in this way. We want the plus will middle right. So positive value is there here middle and multiplication is what? Negative. Multiplication is negative and middle term is positive. So here this negative will come and this will come positive. So 7 pi are 35 plus minus minus and here 7 minus 5 is what? 2 only. Here we have to write addition. So factors of this y square plus 2y instead of that we will write 7y minus 2y sorry 7y minus 5y minus 35 equals to 0 right so now we will factorize y plus y in bracket y plus 7 and here minus Find bracket y plus 7 equals to 0. Okay. Here. Here see y plus 7. Y plus 7. And another is we can write here. Y minus 5 equals to 0. Okay. So we have to take that y plus 7 equals to 0 and y minus 5 equals to 0. So y plus 7 equals to 0 and y minus 5 equals to 0. So here what, what value will come? y equals to minus 7 and another value will come y equals to 5. So these are the values of y when the distance between that a and b is 10 units. Understood everyone?